So just give me two seconds. Stop worrying about my hands. You're going to smell it when you lift this and some essential oil. Thanks for being patient. Ah, no problem. How's everything going today? Yeah, very well, thank you. I'm Julian, by the way. Julian, my name's Mark. Mark, the sides here. Do you usually have the neck really rounded? Anyway, I turned professional and um, I had a professional career for about six years and you know, when I was about 25 year old, I took a year out of boxing, which I thought I'd take a year off. I was mm -hmm. a little, uh, felt a little stout. Yeah. Know? Anyway, one year turned into 10 years. It Whoa. flew, it flew like that. And, uh, and before I knew where I was, I was in my thirties, mid thirties. But uh, and obviously doing, I went back to work, uh, you know, building work and jobs I weren't really happy in. And uh, like what you just said reminded me, and that's come to a point where I got back in my first love, got back involved in my first love, which was uh, being involved with boxing. The world, the world, and uh, people uh, take take your focus sometimes. And it's good to take a step, take a step back, and have a look, and see, see, and digest basically, and trust your gut. Exactly. I did that in my mid thirties, and I got back in the gym. It was tough at first. I had a mortgage, etc., but I stuck to what I, my gut told me, and, was, and that was boxing and helping people in their careers. And uh, I've never looked back since. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to. I, sometimes I wish my dad was a, a bricklayer or a paint and decorator or an accountant or. <laughs> Or something else, but yeah. he was a uh, he was a good trainer, and uh, he's had many world champions himself. So, and naturally, looking back, I followed his footsteps. Yeah, okay. One, two, hey, hey. Yes, one, two. Check one, two. All right. <laughs> All good. Okay. Yeah. Just end right here. Yeah. And that one next to Uh huh. And then Eddie in the middle, and then the other two guys on the other side. I think for the most part it was really just a fight and then like when we was playing football and basketball we wasn't traveling right. so we actually got a chance to leave travel, school, yeah. sure. leave for a week, travel. Right. Honestly <laughs> Boston took me everywhere I went. Yeah. Like before Boston I didn't I never left Virginia. Yeah. This is one of the biggest shows I've ever promoted. I think it's probably the most excited I've ever been about staging a fight. Of course, coming through the pandemic, Todd quite rightly stated this is the biggest live event crowd post-pandemic. And today, we also heard that we've officially broken the US boxing record for the largest indoor crowd. 63,386 people witnessed Muhammad Ali against Leon Spinks rematch in 1978 in New Orleans. We're already through that number. We're going to have 70,000 people in the AT&T Stadium this Saturday night, of course, watch live exclusively around the world on DAZN. And I feel like my major statement is going to be this Saturday. Uh, I want to show my comfortability in the ring. I want to show that I'm progressing each fight. And I want, I'm, think, I'm pretty sure I'm going to show that this Saturday. Um, I want to start looking like a real professional fighter in there, only going six rounds. And I want to show these top guys that's at the top right now that, yes, Keyshawn Davis is here, and he's coming, and he's on y'all heels. I mean, that's how we grew up. We, we competed, like, in any sport we played before we even got into boxing. So when we got boxing and actually fighting, we pushed each other. We competed at home, putting holes in the walls, and just got each other better and got each other mentally stronger and physically stronger to be able to fight on a stage like this. Sí, la verdad es, es una... The truth is, it's a great opportunity, and I want to thank you for allowing me to be on this card. I'm going to give it my all on Saturday, and, and I'm going to show all the preparation that's gone in and hopefully have a good result. Yeah, all I can say is I've been blessed. Um, I had a lot of major setbacks back in 2020, and um, to be on my third Canelo card, I feel like this is all God's plan all along. Okay. The truth is, I came to do my job. I want to show everything, but I'm just going to do my fight, and if the knockout comes, it comes. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, in front of 70,000 people, that's amazing. That's amazing, and I want to, 
I am, this is a big blessing for me, you know. Uh, this is a huge car. I'm very happy to be here. You know, my first international bet online, so that's very good for me. And yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready, more than ready. Thank you, James. Thank you. Everyone else, stay here, please. Stay here, just wait. Hey, how are you? Thank you, thank you. Este sí, claro. I'm very happy for this opportunity. He's a really good fighter, and we're going to come out here and try to do a good job. First of all, thank you so much for giving, giving me a, give this great opportunity, Mr. Eddie Hearns. This, come, this coming Saturday, I'm, I look forward to getting back the title of the two different divisions. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Two of the very best fighters in the world will step into the ring. One fighter considered by many to be, pound for pound, the best in the world. His opponent, a two-time world champion considered by many to be the slickest master boxer on the planet today. I feel really thankful with the response of the people and that boxing is a sport that brings everything back to normal and I'm ready for this fight. I've been a lot involved in a lot of big fights, and this is just another day at the office. I come to win, and like I said, it's, boxing is my life, and I come here to win. Look, I've been boxing all my life. I've been boxing since I've been five years old, been dragged up, you know, in, uh, on the gypsy camps. These can, we can all have the rough, tough talk growing up as kids, but I'm here for a reason, and there's no other reason for me to be here apart from win. Not about fame, not about anything else, not about publicity, win. And I don't think we've had somebody come to win for a very, very long time. We've had a lot of people turn up, fly in, collect checks and fly out, but we haven't had, you know, the, the heart and soul and the IQ that I will bring to the, to the table and to the ring on Saturday night to win. There's a time in life where you get tested and sometimes when you forget where you come from and forget all them hard things, you know, what's brought you to where you're at, Sometimes, you know, that can make it difficult on yourself. And, and I just think that he's going to be bumping into the wrong man on Saturday night to be going over them titles. How was that, Billy? Very good, very good, my man. Very good. 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 Just in case, he's ready. Just in case, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have a photo, yeah. have a photo. <laughs> Fans are returning for boxing, but it's the fact that boxing is being showcased on Saturday. So we can talk and we can stand there like peacocks to say, this is our sport, right? Because everyone's going to be watching this around the world. They're going to be looking at the atmosphere and they're going to go, wow, that's boxing. You know what we've done in the UK, it's the same kind of mindset. People have to tune in to watch this product and say, wow, this is the place to be. We're here in vivo to talk with you. We're very excited. 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 Canelo, it's been a hell of a week. We're crying before the time. Viendo the abilities of Billy Joe Saunders, how... How's that? Oh, we, we see it, we see it, hey, we see it. Love you, man. We see, we see you shining. That's how a star comes in here. Good, good. Let's good. see Muy pocas veces, muy pocas veces me. Uh, very few times. I don't really like that. I like to respect my rivals. You feel unbeatable right now, and do you feel like you can't be beaten? No muy contento, más que nada agradecido por la respuesta. I feel really good. I'm really happy with the response of all the people, and I'm happy to have boxing bring things back to normal. And, and what better than also being a Mexican in the ring? <laughs> oh man.
No, de su número, ¿va? Su número y con, con Canelo, ¿eh? Thank you, bro. Out. Out. Legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you two would have been a great yeah. fight. Yeah. You, you jumped in 160? Oh, 168. Yeah. 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 Superman. Yeah. yeah. Mikel Kessler. Andre Ward. Yeah. Andre Ward. Tricky. Yeah, I, I saw the, the fight Super with uh, Andre Ward. Yeah. Thank you. 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 You won it? Estaba sonando ese olito. Mancha está chido el negro, ¿no? <risa> ¿Te la traigo? No, no, no va a ser. Voy a hacer el pinche perro, pico. Ese está desde la otra vez, ¿verdad? ¿eh?